Hello and welcome to the video. This is a video that quite a few of you have asked for. So if you have, thank you very much. This one's for you. It's to compare these three models, the dolphin, the swordfish, and the new Atomasi penguin. All of these models are absolutely fantastic. And I personally have them in my own flying fleet. And in fact, talked about them specifically in the video that I did a while ago. That was the kit picks video. I talked about how impressive all three of these were. However, they are very close cousins in terms of performance. And actually the way I build these things out is that I have kind of a scoring bar, this kind of thing down below. This happens to be the one for the dolphin. And each of these kind of scores has a specific set of metrics behind it. So it should allow you to do a direct comparison and that's available. However, the dolphin was unfortunately done just before I came up with this way of scoring models. And thank you to my patrons who helped me refine this model that you're looking at now. So how do the dolphin, how do the swordfish and how do the penguin stack up? Why would you choose one over the other? Now, the fact that we have these metrics and we kind of have these star ratings for each of these key important performance metrics means I can absolutely talk about it. But I would personally say that, you know what, out of these three, there isn't really a bad choice, but some of them pick the post at certain specific flying styles than others and there are instances where I will take one to the field over the other and that really depends on how I feel like flying and what the weather's like. Now do remember that I'm scoring these about how I fly. I'm not trying to do endurance. I'm not trying to find this best Carson speed to give the maximum amount of endurance, flight time and distance. I'm just flying them like I would if I went to the field. So this is just based on my own experience and how I fly. First one to talk about then is the fantastic dolphin. The dolphin is my favorite number one model out of all of the things that I'm flying at the moment. It's the fastest of the three that we're looking at today and possibly the toughest too. Mine has had quite a lot of tumbles. I'm still flying my original, even though I have two others. I have a full spare set of foam and a spare dolphin too. I love it that much. If I crash this or it gets destroyed or we have a flyaway or something horrible happens i definitely don't want to be without a dolphin in the bag it is an excellent all-rounder as you can see here it can do pretty much everything it's really good at slow speed it's pretty good at fast speed it's not an out and out speed demon but it's definitely capable of a turn of speed if you want it it's reasonably efficient it's nice and quiet the standard prop set up and the airflow into the prop isn't ridiculous it's really tough. It's good at acrobatics. There's shed loads of room inside for all of your bits and pieces, and it breaks down for travel. There's only a couple of things I point you to if you're a dolphin fan. First of all is that although the wings do come off for transport, which is really good, the main body and the vertical stabilizers at the back are kind of fixed, so you still have to find a place to put those. And there is a little bit of work needed to for modern HD FPV systems, and um, would love them to come out with a Dolphin Pro that has a similar nose to the Penguin. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Next one to talk about then is the swordfish. Now the swordfish is more of a glider with kind of twin prop setups out there in each of the wings. It's very floaty and can fly for ages thanks to the glider like setup. And it's the biggest physically of the three when it's all put together. It's very good at floating and relaxing flying. It's very relaxing to fly. It is one of those things you can get up to your maximum legal altitude, cut the motor, and then just soar around and look for your thermals. It's also very good at slow speed. In fact, it's probably as good as the Dolphin when it's in a slightly lighter setup. I'm flying mine with a really heavy 21700 lithium ion pack in the nose for ridiculous amounts of flight time, and that means that it is probably a little bit heavier than most others build it out. But it is also very good because it has that large battery bay and enough room inside to add everything that you need if you want flight controllers and stuff too. And it is available, of course, with the flight controller direct from Atom RC. Only a couple of things to note about the Swordfish that it even when the wings are off, uh, it still has a very big, lanky set of pieces. The tail doesn't come off, so the body and, again, those kind of that V-tail, along with some uh, wing gates that go underneath the V-tail, you need to find a place for those. So it's not something that you can kind of hide in a backpack. And there is a little less room inside due to that narrow body. And you also need a little bit of work to put modern HD systems in the nose. See my review of it for how I did it here. 
And then finally, we have the brand new Penguin. It's only been out a handful of months, but this is another firm favourite of mine. The Penguin is a bit interesting. It's a mixture of both. It's the smallest of the three physically, larger than you would expect from the photos online. It's very fun to fly and very agile if you increase the throws. So it's capable of flying like something like the Dolphin. Uh, but it can also fly for a very long time like the Swordfish, thanks to a very efficient setup and those nice twin props. It's very good at floating and very good at relaxing flying, but still capable of those aggressive moves if you increase the throws. And I like the fact that you can have it as both things. It has kind of a Jekyll and Hyde nature. You can set it up for a nice gentle floater, or you can have it set up for hooligan mode. It is very stable and very quiet for a smaller model. Uh, although, again, it is larger than you think from the photos online. There is a huge battery bay and enough room inside to add everything you need. Again, I tend to run mine on lithium ion here. There's excellent nose for this for the FPV systems. That's why it gets such a good score for the roomy stuff because you don't have to get your craft knife out and start cutting foam in order to get your HD system in this, even if it's a HD one. Only a couple of things to note with this. It's not fast, but it is nice and efficient and very fun to fly. And even when the wings are off, it's still big. The wings are removable, but it's only kind of from the motors out that come off. So the main central body itself, again, with those stabilizers that click in, are pretty big units. So any thoughts on this comparison? Well, no, not much really. I think it pretty much speaks for itself. The Dolphin does get the highest score for toughness, although the others are pretty close behind. Uh, my Dolphin has bounced up and down more fields than I care to count. The underside of the nose is a, quite a bit of hot glue, and it is the one that I've had the longest, which is probably why I'm happiest giving it a slightly higher rating than the other two, with their large wings or with their dual props that potentially could get caught in the grass. Both of the twins, both the penguin and the swordfish, score very well on efficiency and noise levels as both have huge battery bays and well set up twin props. And you can see that the dolphin is the fastest with the swordfish being in middle place and then the cute penguin being the slowest of the three. But then I think it's more set up for efficiency and fun flying than out and out speed. You can also see that the dolphin has the most internal room for stuff. It is absolutely massive in there you could rent out the rear equipment bay as a small one bed flat and all are capable of really low speeds and again the swordfish i think would actually score the same if i built mine out with a slightly less heavy battery in the nose so which do I take to the field for which conditions? Well, the Dolphin is used for general flying in lots of conditions and for lots of different styles. If there's a bit of wind, I don't care. If I want a relaxy flight, that'll do it. If I want to fly it then like a hooligan and chase my mates around, that absolutely can do that too. It's my go-to for flying stuff. For the swordfish, I prefer to put that in the back of the car when it's a calm, bright day where there are thermals around and there are great views and I can soar with the birds and just have that fantastic zen experience of flight and just lose myself in the whole HD FPV flying thing. For the penguin, that's general flying where I'm not bothered about the high speeds, but I want a fun, stable FPV platform. Again, the penguin is very good, copes with wind quite well, but because of its smaller size, it does mean that it's a little bit easier to carry around. So hopefully that's been interesting for those of you that asked about this. Where would I use each of those? I think, as I said at the beginning, there isn't a bad choice with these. They are all fantastic models. If you want a more acrobatic wing, then I would go something like the Dolphin. If you want something that's more floaty and soaring, I would go with the Swordfish. If you want a combination of both that's a little bit smaller, but maybe not as good at the speed, then I'd go with the Penguin. Thank you for watching the video. If you watch my videos and find them useful, then please take a moment to hit the like and subscribe button. It helps the channel a lot. If you really like what I'm doing here, you can become a Patreon and support the time I spend helping others and get access to lots of exclusive benefits. Link is in the video description. Remember that all the videos on the channel are organized into playlists, so you can easily use those playlists to find all the videos on a subject that you are interested in. Add Painless360 to your searches on Google and YouTube, and it'll help you find my content for any particular topic. Thanks again for watching, and as always, happy flying.